Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be doing a basic Shape of 3D tutorial on how to draw a vase. Um, so this is a request from a subscriber, a comment on one of my previous videos. So I thought I'd do a simple quick tutorial on how to get started with it. Um, if you've got any other suggestions, please comment below, drop us a like and uh, subscribe to the channel to support. So just to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top and look down on, click on the top plane and look down on the part. I'm going to sketch and I'm going to click the circle tool and I'm going to click on the origin of the part, which is where that the Y axis and the X axis meet. And I'm going to draw a circle at 500 mil. Zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to exit that sketch. And now I'm going to go to isometric view so you can see the circle and I'm going to go to add. I'm going to go to click construction plane. Then I'm going to offset the construction plane from this circle. So if I click the circle, click next, and I'm going to make the vars about 500 high. So now I've, if I go into the left view, as you can see, I've got the circle and I've got my sketch plane for the height of the vars. So if I click the sketch plane, click sketch. And now I'm going to go to a circle, draw a circle, bang in the middle again. I'm going to do it. 300. I'm going to exit that sketch. So if I go to isometric view now, I've got my sketch plane 500 mil above. I've got a 300 mil circle and I've got my base circle at the bottom of the part. So from there, I'm going to go to tools, loft, and then I'm going to click both circles. And if you if it doesn't actually loft, you need to click inside each circle, not the actual profile. And now I've got this cone shape. You have these two handles here. And if I move these handles, you can adjust your vase how you'd like, um, just to get it a bit more of an exotic shape. I'm going to tick done. So now I've done that. I'm going to just to make it a bit more of an exotic shape. What I'm going to do is look at the front of the vase. So I've clicked the front plane on the view cube. Click sketch, and then I'm going to go to line, and I'm going to draw a line from the bottom, and I'm going to go more than 500 so the vase is 500 so i can click it i'm going to go to 550 so i've just drawn a line sticking out the center of the vase and if i go to the front as you can see you can click it there and i'm going to go to um transform and then i'm going to go to sorry i'm not going to go to transform i'm going to go to tools projects at the bottom of tools and then we we'll click the line I'm going to project it on the surface of the vase. So now I have this curved arc going down the, the vase. So if I click the surface, I've got two separate surfaces free on the side of the vase, as you can see there. So now this is where it gets a bit tricky. It might crash because, because I'm trying to do a bit of an odd shape. But what I'm going to do is if I just go to an isometric view there, just hide that plane so you can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to go to click the click. I've clicked the surface, and I'm going to, go to move and rotate. And I'm going to click the bottom rotate arrows. And I'm going to rotate it round a little bit. Let's try 15 degrees. I'm going to do this one. Same again. Move, rotate, and then move that round. So you get a bit more of a twisting shape. It's a bit of trial and error. I'm going to just undo that. So I'm just click. Try that again. So move and rotate. So I think it's just come up saying operation failed because like the geometry you can't do the geometry. So there you go, that's better. Try and twist it a little bit. Move and rotate again. So now if I spin round, you can see it's offset the surfaces a little bit. Depending on the shape, you can twist it a little bit more. So if I pull it out and do a twist, just to make it not perfectly round. So pull it out again, not not too much. Not there. Then go move and rotate. But you can play around with it, depending on what kind of shape. You could have just stuck with the original shape if you like. 
and from there now I've got a bit of an oddly shaped uneven vase just try and make it a little bit better now I've pulled that out too much there we go but from there if you fit once you fiddle around with it and got the surfaces how you want So what I like about Shape of 3D, your surface tools are very malleable. And you can move stuff around very easily to get really unusual shapes. There we go. That's a bit better, something a bit more exotic. So now when you could have kept it standard, but this that's just me having a fiddle to try and get a bit more of a spirally advanced shape. So from there, once you've finalised your two surfaces on your vase, what you can do is go to Tools, and then if you go to Shell, and then click the top surface, and then it asks you how thick you want the wall to be. So I'm going to go for 10, let's go for 15 mil, and tick Done. So there you have a nice vase shape, and you can put the finishing touches on it. So I'm going to click the edges. I'm going to put a 5mm, 15mm, sorry, chamfer on there, 15mm chamfer on there. And maybe a smaller one at the top. So to chamfer, I'm clicking the edge. And if you don't know this, once you click the edge, you can pull out to put a chamfer on or push in uh, to put a fillet on. So I'm going to put a cham little 4mm chamfer there and a little 4mm chamfer there. And there you have it, a nice little twisting vase. I'm sure you can, people that are a little bit more artistic than me can come up with a better shape, a better better model of it. But that's the basic, start with a loft, manipulate and transform the surfaces as you see fit, and then transform it. Um, if we click on visualisation, you can make it glass as well. I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. If you have, uh, please do subscribe to my channel. All support's appreciated. And thanks for watching.